right? We on tier list maker with the boy Zeno. Yo, what's up? I made this tier list of the Fable characters. Me and Moffs read this by ourselves together. He didn't Yo. record anything because I, I don't know why. Uh, because we f I forgot and it yeah, was fun doing it. Yeah. So we're ranking each character in their likability or their significance to the plot of the fable. Yes, sir. Yeah, there's a bunch of characters here, like 28, right? Uh, yeah, 28. All right, all right. Obviously. It, yeah, it's by like, you know, name. Okay. It is. Oh, wow. Yeah, like I told wait, you, no, bro. No, it's not. Why is oh, Kawhi? Wait. What? Wait. Oh, wait, no, because his name is Yuki. The file's Yuki. Yeah, I told you. Okay. Okay. Yukari, fine. isn't that you like you, you carish? Paris? Gross. Yeah. All right. I guess we can start off with the boy Akira. The main character. Yup. And I think we, I think it just has to be in one spot, really. Because yeah. main character, he's the driving force. For the most part, obviously. So we gotta we gotta we gotta put him right up here. He he's not only badass, but he develops a lot through the series, even though it's very subtle. Yeah. Like he goes from, you know, having a hard time not wanting to kill people or not being able to hold back the mm -hmm. actually being, you know, a normal ass nigga. Yeah. For the most part. <laughs> he still, you know, sleeps naked. I bet. <laughs> and he sleeps in the tub. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he sleeps in the tub still. Like, what bruh, is, what is like, he doing? hey, bro, you got a whole lady right there, bro. So sleep true. in the tub. Sleep in the tub, bro. Gotta be prepared. I like how he's like, yeah, let's just leave her in the fucking bed. You know, I'm gonna be in the tub, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, all right. Azumi's next. What do you think about Azumi? Azumi is an interesting character. I think... I think his introduction was great. It was uh, Tomoka mm -hmm. being like, yo, I got some dude in China. I have him do some shit and he'll be here soon. So he gets there and he's like this dude who's like badass. Is there... and, then we're not sh and then he sees Akira and he's not sure, you know, whether he should act or not or if. Uh, Kira knows who he is. Mm -hmm. So we get this thing of like, is Azumi for us or for the enemy? Yeah. I felt like that. I felt that, yeah. I like, hmm, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, put a placement for him because, like, I don't know if he's like peak. He's not peak. Yeah. I don't think he's peak. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I guess, yeah, I don't think he's peak, but he's he's up there. He's definitely above a couple other people here, 100%. He's definitely above average. So mm -hmm. he got to be either good or great. Yeah. Hmm. Obviously, this is all not the second contract part. So, like, if people are wondering why there's, like, some characters not here, that's why we're going to do another one for that, most likely, in yeah. the future. Because, you know, that's more characters. But, uh, yeah, Azumi, I'd probably say... Uh... I think for now we should put him at great. Yeah. Just for now. Yeah, and then maybe we will just like you know, move him around later, adjust as we see later. Next up is the barman. Yeah. yeah. Bartender. Yes, sir. He he went crazy. He was the yeah. you know the matchmaker. You know. He was the referee in uh, Yoko versus Kawhi, mm -hmm. and their little drinking thing. Yo, he's witnessed. Yeah. The, the the bad of Yoko <laughs> just yeah. tormenting guys at the bar, you know? And he has he can't do anything about it. Because I would he's put him fair. as a great character. Because yeah. he he's likable. Mm hmm Ah uh, yeah. And he develops the plot really well. Yeah, like especially like the scenes where he's in, he he's honestly the main part, to be honest. He's like the narrator and also like the main guy <laughs> mm -hmm. outside of you know the he's serving obvious. the drinks you know yeah he's, he's deciding who gets what yeah like i know when he uh when he was like 
The first, yeah, the first, I was the first or second time when he was like, I ain't gonna serve you something lighter, bro. You're gonna it take it. One. Oh, yeah, because like he was like, yo, yo, chill out my drinks, you know, Yuki Kawhi yo, over there. He's he was just like, I'm sorry, you're going down, but yeah, <laughs> I gotta play like, fair. So I gotta play fair, bro. And you just, you're outclassed. That is what it is, bro. Yeah, like, I, I, I'd say great. He definitely, you know, is there. I, I don't know about above Ozmi. At the moment, anyways. We'll probably work around that later. But, yeah. yeah. And obviously, next up... And now, for the... some reason, yes. you wanted to add the bear <laughs> during the forest arc. Bro. It's good. Kuro. <sighs> character development. The bear is not likable at all. <laughs> There's nothing to like. <laughs> you don't get a chance to like it. Yeah, and then he gets uh, subdued it by... Does, <laughs> it does develop Kuro's ability... Ab yeah <laughs> ability to understand the differences between being able to take someone out and giving up or giving up yeah because i know uh fucking akira like had to go and subdue it after or not not subdue it just like attack it so much that it like ran away <laughs> yeah Harm it. Pretty much scared off. Yeah. And then, yeah, obviously, Kuro didn't really do much after that, but... Bro literally had one job. He <laughs> said, don't... Whatever you do, don't lay down. And you know what he did? He laid down. <laughs> what is wrong with him? Bro, yeah. I, I mean, where are we putting the bear, though? That's the question now. Because he's not likable, but he develops at least one character's plot, I'd say average. Yeah, okay. Like, he's, like, the bar to beat. And it that's, shouldn't that's be weird. that hard. Yeah, it shouldn't <laughs> be that hard. <laughs> but the bird, though, that developed a character. That developed a very main character. Gave, yes. it, that was, gave a development to a main character, yes. You know, Not to take care of something, yeah. he become, like, the support for Akira... Mm -hmm. When he just needs to talk to someone or something, Yo. he like he it, it seems like he listens and he mm -hmm. like flies and hangs out with him, watches TV with him. Yeah, even even reacts to him sometimes when he talks. I would put the bird bird at top of grade. I would agree. Yeah. Also, your mic is a little cutting out a little bit sometimes. I don't know why though, but it's fine. Yeah, I heard you uh, lagging, so it must have been me. Okay. But next up. Is probably one of my favorite characters from, uh, I forgot the name. The Fable, yeah. Is that Abihara? For the first part, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely, I really like Abihara. He's probably one of my favorites. I think, I think I had him, like, you know, top three. I just don't know where, I forgot where I had him when we were reading this. But, I mean, he, he is, he did do a lot. I think he definitely did a lot more than Azumi. As like, you know, being impactful. What would you say about that, Zeno? I would say his beginning was weird, but it worked for his development. So yeah. he was introduced as this vice president of the Maguro mm. uh, Yakuza group. Yeah. And he's very tough and he doesn't trust Akira. So around chapter like 15 or 11 or whatever it was he like tests him to see who akira really is if and, he would actually you know, kill you know yeah yeah if he's a killer cold-blooded don't give a shit about anything or if he's just doing a job mm -hmm. and then they talk about like what is living what is life what is being normal and i yeah. think that's a very very nice start to ebi horror and then you get to know him more and more and like him more and more throughout the series because he has to make all these decisions about what he needs to do with firstly his friend who gets out of jail and then what to do uh during the yamoka arc yeah because it, it really feels like at some points He's outclass and he knows it, but he he you know steps it up and you know does his best. Because yes. like I know he also like 
Actually, is that is that the second contract stuff about like him with the fable kind of like drifting, separating? What do you think about uh, that? No, that's no. I think that's the end of the f first one. Okay. He's like, yeah, I'm I'm done with the fable. I'm yeah. done with you assassins. We're gonna do our own shit. You guys do your own shit. Yeah, because you know, I feel like that's if a we good... need help, we'll let you know. If you mm -hmm. need help, let us know. But for now, we're gone. Yeah, I feel like that was like. At least, it, like, it was a good way from, like, this, like, season, like, part one at the end, I guess. Because, like, it definitely, you know, um, rounded out his stuff. Because, like, he, he's more of, you know, I want, he want to do it himself. He want to do it with his group. The regular, you know, Yakuza niggas versus the Yakuza niggas, not, like, assassins, you know? Right. He's, he's old school like that. He'd rather, like, keep it like that and having hitmen and shit. But yeah, right. I would, I, I'd say Ebihar is probably, like, either top of greater peak. What would you say about that? I'd say he's low peak. Yeah. Uh, and there's a quote that I like to live by that mm -hmm. he said to Kuro, or maybe it was Takahashi, one of them. But pretty much they were saying, yeah, all right, I'll try. And he's like, don't give me that millennium bullshit. I'll try. <laughs> say you'll do your best. Yes, sir. And Kuro's like, or uh, with Takahashi, they're like, yes, sir, I'll do my best. Yeah. Like, you know, Abihara got some quotes in here, bro. Really good ones, 100%. You know, he 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 got that knowledge, bro, that experience. I fuck with him. That's why, you know, he's probably one of my favorite characters. But yeah. that shit low peak. A low peak. Right at the, right below Akira for right now. Next up is Hamada, which is the, the boss of Abihara. The president the of Maguro, right? Yeah. Yes, correct. Okay. Uh, I feel like, obviously, he would be less than Ebihara, like, on this list anyway. In the terms of, like, in, like, like, uh, what's the word for it? Impact to the story, yeah. Let's do that. Because, yeah. like, he, I mean, obviously, he gets, you know, if, if you've read it, he gets taken out in, like, the first, or no, the second, second arc? The beginning of the third arc. Okay, the beginning of the third arc, so he doesn't really have a lot of time to, you know, do a lot compared right. to, like, everybody else. So, obviously, he left the factory, like, you know, he cares about, you know, the uh, the, the Sato siblings, you know, quote-unquote siblings. He cares about uh, his his uh, Fable connection. Yeah. He cares about his uh, members. Mm -hmm. We see that through flashbacks. He's helped Ebihara a lot. And, uh... But besides that, there's not really much to his character. Yeah, like... like I agree. Like, I feel like the one thing that this... Or well, one of the only things that the story lacked was developing the president of the group that Sato is hiding under, you know? Mm -hmm, they more cause... focus on the vice president. Mm -hmm. Because, like, yeah, Hamada was literally the guy that, like set like was helping like set this all up for so like akira had like a place to go where sato had a place to go because like he he should have been more relevant i feel because like he was even you know with like in talks with the boss of like the fable so like i'm confused why he didn't get at least as much you know development as the boss so that, that was a little annoying but I'd so, say good. At, at best. I would say this is what I think. I think we should move the bear to okay and yeah. move him to average. Okay, I agree with that. Yeah, because like, because yeah. Hamada does more for more important characters than the bear. Yeah, but I don't think Hamada is necessarily a good character. Mm hmm. Because it's just like yeah, he lacks the development for like especially like the crazy ass development that Abihar got and he was like you know a a like lower in the like the hierarchy of the fucking Maguro so it's like yeah. uh I don't know man because we got we got like you know more development for Abihara in the arc where like it was literally his last like Hamada's last like you know appearances you know so it's, it's like come on bro you couldn't even like at least do it like uh, no, do more development. The, he did it the shonen way, where they give yeah. the flashback of the person who's about to die. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
that's that's upsetting but i mean it is what it is but yeah i mean he's not a he's not like a terrible character but he he just you know could have used more yeah but uh so now we got hinako yep this one i i feel like she definitely got a decent amount of development 100 percent. honestly a I lot think... better than hamada i would say i think this is weird. Mm hmm Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I I want to put it in good just to have someone there. Mm hmm But I think she's better than the bartender. Mm -hmm. But not as good as Azumi. Because, like, for Hinako, I feel like she had a, a, a very, like, abundant amount of character development in a very short amount of time. Like, it was yeah. just, like, that one arc, she got, like, she just, like, bursted all the fucking character development you could, and the arc, she's gone. Yeah. So it was, and like... And then Ozumi is, yeah. like, he started after her arc, but he's still going now. Yeah. Even in the second part. Mm-hmm. And it's, like, I feel like, you know, they're uh, honestly, so, like, they're very similar, like, uh, similar in, like, how I rate them, you know? It's just that, like... I feel like Hinako probably is like just slightly below him because like obviously he's she he's still around Azumi still around anyways, he's like still getting his character development. But I mean, if it's based on just like the like the first part, I'd say Hinako probably has the more character development because it was so much in like just a little amount of time. So it kind of like felt lackluster when she just fell off the story. But I mean, it makes sense with the where how she was the character was going, you know. So. I think if she comes back in the second part, then I think her character could be higher than Azumi's. But yeah. for now, it's going to be just below for me. Yeah, okay. I agree with that. Because it's like I, I, like, I want her to come back, but it's like, there's also like, you know, a part of me that was like, yeah, I, like, I'm glad she got away from all this fucking bullshit that she was a part of, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, it is what it is. If she doesn't appear, she doesn't appear, but she's still a good character. A great character, in fact. But, Next up is Isaki, also part of uh, uh, Utsubo's group with Hinako. Yeah, second act yeah. of the story. Hmm. I feel like I, I I feel like it's definitely less than Hinako in character development there. Impact, you know. I think he's between good and average because yeah, he's introduced in the second part as this guy who was in Maguro before. Yeah, and was friends with Kuro, uh, and then joined Utsubo's group to mm -hmm. make pretty much make money. Yeah, like he he really didn't have like that much of like you know an impact for like why he's there, you know why he needs to be here, why he has to be here, whatever. It's funny that you say why because he yeah. is a character that's mostly asking the whys for us yeah. for the readers. Yeah. And then, like, I mean, yeah, he was fucks up. He fucks <laughs> yeah. up the one thing he had to do because he had to go take a shit, and then ends up getting killed by the end of that second act. Yeah, that, like that's tough. Like, <laughs> he 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 really got fucked. In all honesty, because like he could have easily like got out. He should have got out a lot a lot like sooner. A lot earlier because like he really had no reason to still be here in all honesty i would say but also yeah it's just i don't really care for him much because like he was just like another body you know yeah. in the end because like he was you know another body on top of his bodies that he was like you know burying and died so <laughs> i'm gonna say mean. he's below hamada i would say so too because like and also the fact that, you know, he, he kind of tried to be a double agent and fuck with Kuro. Try to give him information, you know. Not a good character. So Alright. The boy Jackal. Jackal, baby. Funniest man alive. <laughs> oh, God. Like, Akira <laughs> just sees something in him that just makes him laugh and everyone else just doesn't understand. Yeah. I don't know. It's like, I feel like, obvi like he would have a very, you know, good... He obviously has a very good impact because, like, he, he's he's influencing Akira. Like, maybe not influencing, but, like, has him, like, liking something that that's, like, you know, sort of normal, I guess. Yeah, because, like, the first, the first chapter we see Akira killing some motherfuckers and then going to a car and watching this dude. 
to get his laughs on. And then yeah. later we see him laughing at a TV, multiple TV shows and commercials that he's in. And, and he's just like relieving himself with this yeah. jackal uh, character. I agree. I just don't know where I'd put him. Do the fact that, you know, like, obviously, he He's got doesn't... no development. Yeah, no development. Besides the fact that, you know, like, bro kind... Bro's busting his ass in the fucking, you know, the movie and the TV industry, bro. He's going crazy, bro. He got, like, he got, he got like seven different shows. He's fucking... Like yeah! He's, like, like he's literally... Like he, he's literally everywhere in this fucking universe, bro. Yeah, he got... He's, like, out here in, like, a bunch of movies, a bunch of TV shows... He got fucking, you know, all these products that he's, like, you know, Probably selling. Shows, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing so much shit. But too bad that's not really, you know, enough. But it's like, he's he really has... likable. Yeah. Like, because Akira likes him, we like him. Yeah, like, I, I definitely see it. like, dumb humor, weird humor. Yeah. I mean, I don't really know where I'd put him. Because, like, he's definitely, you know, doing... Like, he's definitely doing it enough. He's doing something to the story doing something to akira so like i i don't know if it's like on the level of bird because like I, he's actually you know there he's Let's developing you know good i think yeah. we should fill the good spot with him yeah because like, it's just like hard to put him anywhere but due to the fact you know he does he's not a really a character we can you know watch and you know read like about you know that's, that's something but yeah jiro the, the the guy who who did it who did it who killed hamada yeah, the assassin yep. who uses plant fungi you to make poison. Yeah, to make a very, you know, unnoticeable, untraceable poison, really. And uh, even in that picture, that was like right before he did it. True. <laughs> I, I met, I really just like wanted to get that one. <laughs> He's drinking on the job right before, you know, he stumbles over uh, Ebihara. Obviously. Yeah, Hamada. And then like, you know, drops in, in there. Yeesh. Ah! So I think Jiro is. Uh, mm -hmm. I think he definitely has development. Not much, yeah. but he does. I, yeah, He's I agree. Introduced as this guy who, uh, is also coming from China, I believe. Yeah. And. And because Yamoka like Yamoka hires yeah. him mm -hmm. to do this job for Sonagawa, mm -hmm. because he wants to take out two people. Yeah. Uh and like they choose who they want to take out, right? Mm hmm Cause either way Sonagawa is getting promoted. Yeah. So the option is Hamada or Ebihara. And we get this like suspense of oh, who could it be? Even though if you read it, it's pretty obvious because Hamada doesn't get any development compared to Ebihara. Yeah. <laughs> so Cause let me like it. Guy, yeah. It would have been I'm crazier sorry. if you, you know, that's fine. It, I I interrupted you, but uh, yeah, it would have been crazier if it was Ebihara, but it was like, it kind of made, it, it definitely made more sense that it was Hamada. Yeah, and uh, Juro makes the toxin. He's the one who does all this research on who he's got to kill. He's the one in the shadows while Yamoka and Sonagawa and Matsu mm -hmm. are out doing whatever he wants. Yup. And, uh... I think also one he time ends up succeeding and then yeah. leaves and that's pretty much it. I believe I mean, his likability, he's a villain. Yeah. He doesn't really have oh, wait. much likability yeah. in that sense. Yeah. But still like you want like he's an antagonist and he does yeah. it well. I would all like I know there's also that one time when Akira noticed this guy. Oh just, yeah, he was flying yeah. a kite. Or oh no, yeah. it wasn't a kite. It was, he, he was, was doing something there. Yeah, and he was just like Hey, you like me. You you kind of like me, right? Obviously, he didn't, you know, say it to him. But, like, he thought it, you know? And, like, yeah. he he made the right, like, the right, like, uh, assessment. Because I definitely was like a nigga like you. Right. So, I mean, I, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean he, he does his job well. Obviously, he kind of, you know, gets, like, yoinked later, though. That's the, that's the thing with him. He, he got, he gets bitched. Like he, yeah. like he wasn't like a like a good hitman at all. He just gets bitched later. Like uh, how he was taken out was he was in a forest in a tent. 
Yeah, because and he, he yeah, was just chilling, laying down, reading a book. Oh, yeah. And Suzuki, oh. Yoko, um, mm-hmm. I think Matsu as well. They tracked mm-hmm. him down and they put that's what Suzuki's picture is. Yeah. Uh, the gun to his head. And they're like, hey, you're going you gonna to come with us. And then he starts playing around with them. So they kill him. And they're oh, like, well. Oh, yeah. I remember. That guy was retiring. Yeah, he Jiro was, retired. That was, that was his yeah. last job, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, was, Jiro was like, yeah, I'm done after this. And he was like, okay. I like, uh, or Yomoko was like, okay. Bye. <laughs> but then they, everyone, like, they found him. Bing. You know, <laughs> that's, that's mm-hmm. tough. Like, like, I mean, I don't know. It's like, I, I wouldn't say he's like the best character or even like near great at all. 100%. He's below great. Probably average maybe above like top of average maybe i would say low good because okay. like he he drives the rest of the series because he killed hamada so mm-hmm. that means abihara has to take control now he's the boss now he has to make all the decisions mm-hmm. and who and now he's got to decide who's going to be the second in command which Kenya. was where sanagawa and uh mizuno come in right yeah Speaking you, of which, do we forget Mizuno? Yeah, he's not here. That's who we forgot. Fuck. Yeah, because like I remember we have the picture. We have the picture. We just you, I don't remember like at all. Yeah, we don't have him. That's uh it just <laughs> yeah. I think no, yeah, I didn't I didn't take him, but yeah, like I didn't take the picture of him. But we have the picture of him. But that's that's a shame. We forgot it. <laughs> but okay, I mean we'll, we can we we'll can bring him up put, here. We'll just put like a picture of him. I would say real quick he'd be in like low average because Yeah. He's he's not that well developed and he gets killed pretty easily. Yeah, uh, Jiro. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, he literally like fucking. Since we're talking about him, he literally died in his maid cosplay. Maid cosplay after he had like a orgy. And also like the fact that he got yeah, pegged. Didn't yeah, he get pegged? I think so. And also the fact that like he was literally saying like, "Oh, I don't like cosplay" when he was talking to Yamoka before he you know uh, binked his ass. You know, he was like, "I don't like this shit. This is stupid." Yeah, he, he, like, yeah. <laughs> and then he fucking you know Yamoko's like he's fucking wearing cosplay you fucking lie <laughs> <laughs> that's funny to me and next up we probably got one of the worst motherfuckers in this series bro the lowest likability of all time possible in any series ever but just he, he develops sadly to say mm-hmm. uh the second act uh at the very most yeah it's and like yeah utsubo it's just like, uses them yeah yeah and he's oh. just like he's such an awful person Hume, like being he's a awful, awful human being bro yeah like like holy like not i don't even view this nigga as a human bro like he's weird like I hate him, bro. I I I had to fucking voice this nigga too when we were reading it together. You know. Yes, sir. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> I mean, you got all bitches, so it's whatever. You you roasting all the bitches, so it's whatever. I I got Yuki Kawaii though. <laughs> if I got Kai on actual tier, mm-hmm. it'd be good, probably above Jackal. <sighs> yeah. Oh but I hate him so much, and he's so. Weird and gross that he can't go any higher than trash. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I can't I can't like him, bro. I, I I will not like him. I will never put him higher, bro. I can't do it, bro. I can't. But whatever, we're we're getting past it. Kojima. Honestly, like he definitely impacted Ebihar, I would say. Very much so. Like, cause you were talking about, you know, the guy he had to break out like not break out of prison but like help out of prison and then you know deal with like him because he, he was causing problems yeah the best in it i think the first act uh with him being the main antagonist was very well for the start of the series mm-hmm. because he's like this average guy who is in the yakuza group who likes to do shit old school and when things are changing around him that he don't like, he don't fuck with it, and he, you know, he thinks he's above everyone. So oh. Kira got to set him straight, and uh, that's what he did. And that is that's right. Because of him, 
we get the best panel one of the best panels in the series when Ebihara is holding the gun to his head in the garage. Yup, I would have to agree. That is one of the best. Like, man, I, like, I don't know, man. That that like that one panel alone is probably is really good, bro. <laughs> but, but Kojima and likability, he's okay. Like, yeah, I, I don't. Say, like, I'm not here. really rooting for his antagonist. But I'd say he's probably like here ish. I'd say he's above Jiro, maybe not as high as Jackal. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'd probably put him here in like you know, like impact the story, like ability. Above, below the uh, probably above the bear yeah yeah that's what i would say yeah all right next up is uh the doofus kuro the kira simp <laughs> oh he, he he's he's weird he's weird saw this guy do some crazy shit one time Wait. jumped off a bridge no he jumped off a bridge to act like he was cool like a kira yeah broke and then his broke his leg yeah this dude literally like as people were describing an event that akira did he was li he literally said he came this nigga is so gross <laughs> and He's it's so like weird. yo he also tried the box is not nigga and he was just like hey i i just want to spar i just want to spar big bro i just want to spar i'm like bro fuck off bro like, yeah and akira's like hey i'm just wanting to sure? hold back he's like that's fine and then literally, <laughs> he literally fucking like, wakes up yeah <laughs> he's like, where am i he's yeah he's like yeah you've been out like, bro you got your ass beat oh it makes sense <laughs> But it's like he he isn't a bad character. I'd say he's definitely you know not a, a garbage character. He's definitely not bad. He has weird moments, but yeah. he's good. Like he does great moments. Like he gives a car to Akira, and then he keeps that car for the rest of the series because yeah. the <laughs> the Hanos, Han, Hanosuka. I think yeah, I think it is. Yeah, gets fucked up. <laughs> and, by, oh wait, and he has Kuro? that hilarious moment with Ebihara when he's telling him like he scrapped his car. Oh uh, yeah, and he's like, "Nigga, you no, <laughs> you you fucking fix it." Nah, like, that's funny. I like, I I really like Kuro, bro. He's probably like he, he's a really good character, though. Obviously, he he he's weird. Obviously, not was... on this nigga weird, but he's weird. <laughs> yeah, I would say he's above great, like on top of great. I mean. I would say that because, like, yeah, like, especially even you know, um, the second contract, he, he he's uh, he's definitely you know, still weird, but like he's, he's simpy. <laughs> yeah, he but he's also you know like I feel like he's more important right now in the arc that's currently going on because like obviously involves people that he knows. So yeah, I would say so. And but, he's he's caught up in the action, like he has to do things. Yeah. So I mean, definitely we're gonna we're gonna have some interesting like replacements in the uh the next part of the uh fucking fable shits but next up is matsu he matsu also known as yamoka because yamoka yep. that we have on here stole his name yup that was that was actually vile bro i was not expecting that so we first get introduced to matsu uh, pretty close to the beginning yeah. where he is uh I believe, selling yeah, guns yeah. to Kojima. I think that's where he's uh, I first I, introduced. Wait, I think it might be with uh, like a scene with Ebihara first, actually. And then it's well, with Kojima. Well, say that, but then I think about the next scene where he's with Ebihara cleaning up Kojima's, you know, body, dead body. I mean, I feel like like the first moment was with Ebihara. Like, I don't know. I have a feeling that it was like they were talking first and then there was like the Kojima buying the gun because like i remember when we were reading it we were confused on who the fuck this guy was because like we were like oh yeah like the guy who was in like that one like the fucking you know like the um the wife beater while he was doing shit we didn't know who it was like it was batsu but we didn't know who it was but it was like the same guy through like three instances yeah. that we didn't know so it yeah, might have been the same. like his art style and his face changed like from the beginning to the middle yeah. to the end so that's why it made it a little confusing. Yeah. But Matsu also did a lot of shit. Like, he set up connections with Sonagawa and Hitman. He set up connections with Sonagawa and Yamoka. Matsu, uh, he, uh, he pretty much set up, like, a lot of connections I, to a lot yeah. of people in a lot of places. I feel like he was probably the anchor of a lot of the shit that was going on through the series. Like for like oh uh, you know like the lot like the like like the middleman you know that's what he that's who he yeah. was that that's who he is he's the middleman of a bunch of people you know obviously the the yakuza the Maguro group 
the hitman, like like uh, the fucking Yamoka, and the, the, basically the Fable, and all that right. shit. He was he was literally everywhere, bro. So like, and he obviously had quite a lot of character development that were that were honestly shocking. I think, and they're great. Yeah, when we were introduced that he is not Matsu is not his name, and that. He has a daughter out there that's being threatened by Yamoka, and this is why he's doing all this. Not yeah. because like he's an asshole or he wants money or anything. Mm -hmm. Like he just he he wants to protect his daughter. Like that's I think that's crazy. when his character like really starts to blow. Yeah, skyrocket. I I agree. Cause like he definitely went from you know being oh he's just like the guy sending people up you know sorta, and to like literally okay. You're you're a lot better than I thought you were, you know. Yeah, I I definitely rock with Matsu or I'm not not Yamoka, you know. But yeah. I don't know, like I'd probably I, I feel like he's definitely like especially with the whole like near end of you know his arc because you know unfortunately he does doesn't he die? No, he don't die. Oh, I thought he dies, <laughs> but I no. thought like I thought he does, but like like I mean obviously he doesn't really have much going on later because like he does yeah, he just goes to see his daughter at yeah. college or whatever i feel like that's like a good round off for him like i really feel like he he's his character went from like it was like you know like okay stagnant a little bit boom skyrocketed with the fucking identity shit and that he was a good guy the whole whole time and then like you know he rounded off with like you know getting to see his daughter i really feel like his his whole character arc was like very great they did a really good job with him i think uh i think he's below kuro i like kuro mm -hmm. more because he's uh he's just around a lot more yeah but matsu definitely plays a bigger role in the mm -hmm. whole series altogether yeah i feel like that and also like his like he he really was just like you know a good character like in in general like he 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 had like like basically all the time he was there and like when he like stopped appearing pretty much good but like you know he had a whole good character development arc and ending pretty much you know yeah i, I rock with it and next up is second Ma lady yeah misaki but you know obviously oh yeah they do get they do get married in the first part nice yeah akira and misaki get married towards let's go the very end, like second to last the last chapter i like misaki she went like she honestly went from like damsel in distress to like her pretty much you know yeah i, I really uh, rock with that you know <laughs> i think it's really funny that she's always involved in the conflict every yeah single that's time. that was so good i was like nah nigga let her breathe bro let her breathe oh god like and it always yeah. went back to the same thing it was like because she was a great uh god we looked this up like, how to yeah say like gravure uh gravure i don't fucking know like we looked it up figured out i was right and then i forgot <laughs> yeah a grab your model yeah like whatever the fuck that was but like she was she modeled so you know some very you know lewd photos not nude though yeah but basically yeah that's what she was doing uh and, and you know yeah yeah but i like her character because she has a purpose her purpose yeah. isn't just only damsel in distress but she's a work a working woman yep who is just trying to get money to pay for her parents' uh, debt. debt and bills from the hospital. Yeah. I, I really like, yeah, she went, you know, from, like, you know, that to now she's now she's better because, like, now she, you know, paid the debt that and, like, the bills and stuff. I believe so, well, right? Akira did for Yeah, her. well, yeah. it's paid for. And now she's, like, you know, not, doesn't have to, like, you know... Work worked super crazily yeah like like how she was before she was li like that's literally the main reason why she got into this like half of those messes bro she had to work <laughs> like and, uh yeah and threatened uh, also she was also threatened i i like how she progressed with akira throughout mm -hmm. the story it was like oh hey i see you on the street to oh hey you're my co-worker now like oh hey let's go have dinner multiple times and let's go to each other houses and oh hey by the way you know, I need you to protect me because I know who 
who you are now and i was yeah. like i and i was like akira wants to be with me forever so i want to be with him forever mm-hmm I, I really, like, fuck with how, like, she was the girl that he was supposed to, like, yeah, yeah, don't fuck with her, bro. Just leave her alone, yeah. you know? Yeah, Heavy Horror was like, <laughs> you see that girl? That's a hard-working woman, woman. Yeah. Who's just trying to live a normal life. You don't fuck with those type of people. <laughs> yeah. And then, <laughs> stay oh, away from my her. wife. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I really rock with her, bro. I, 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 she's either, you know, I'd probably say she's maybe above Kuro. Maybe, like, below, maybe, as well. I don't know. I really like her. Though, I mean, like, I right was... now, she's kind of, like, eh. And, like, she's not really doing much, you know, especially right now. Right. Uh... I would say between mm. Kuro and Matsu. I still like Kuro a little more. Like, I don't, I don't know. Or me... Ah, that's tough. Yeah. I don't know. I like, I, I like, I like I'm Kuro. I'm putting Mitsuki in top of great. Cause yeah. I know who's going above her yeah <laughs> interesting but yeah like i know um i like i like misuki like obviously kuro's really like he's a funny character so, i mean misuki really had like really you know was there she was literally there the whole time just yeah. in the thick of it bro for no reason at all she was in the thick of it but yeah next up sonagawa you go ahead oh, oh yeah because i you know i i voice this digger you know I, I really enjoyed Senegal. I mean, for the most part, like he he like you know started off like started off immediately was like you know he was just like that other guy who was also you know like in the Maguro, but like then he's putting out hits on the Maguro nigga. <laughs> I'm like whoa, hold on now. He uh, had he really had a like you know a 180 a little bit. Not gonna lie, I didn't think of like he would be like a straight up fucking traitor for the most part. But it was very interesting because he had great motives uh even if they were selfish that's just how it is in the underworld like you you do shit for yourself and if if it so happens to improve other people's lives then so be it but like sonagawa wanted to be the head the president of maguro more than anything because he wanted power, he wanted control, he wanted all this, so whatever. So he was doing anything he could. He was hiring hitmen. He was going through Matsu to do shit. He was uh, attempting to kill. Mm-hmm. He, yeah, attempted to kill people, yeah. You... Yo? Yo. Yeah, you cut off a little bit. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, he attempted to kill. Continue. Uh, that's pretty much where I ended it. Ah, okay. I would say Sonagawa is... Uh, I'd yeah. say he's above Azumi. Okay. Because he does a lot for the series. Yeah. But his likability is, like, here and there. Yeah. Because like, I, know, I know I liked him for a little bit, and then he was just kind of like, okay, now he's, like, weird. And then he was like, okay, now he's good again. Now he's weird, you know? And then now he's dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I can't feel other about it, bro. But next up, Suzuki. Uh, he was, he was alright. He didn't really have, uh, like, a crazy amount. Like, he, I feel like he's, like, yeah, obviously, you know, other, other Utsubo nigga, group nigga, you know? He was, like, the other hitman. Right. Honestly, actually, never mind. I take. We also forgot about two. Like, we also forgot about Hood and Cord. We also forgot about Can those I two. Put them on here. You didn't. They're not here. Oh god damn it. Okay, so basically, Hood and Cord are the two two niggas that you know pulled up with. I believe that Kojima, right? They were with Kojima. Uh, they were working under Sonagawa to kill Kojima. Hood okay. was responsible for killing him. Cord was responsible for distracting the others. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I guess. Boom. Since we're talking about hood and cord, ah, uh, I'd say hood like goes in yeah. I'd say good. Low good, high average. Cord yeah. would go low average. Yeah, I feel like you know, but well, I, okay. I feel like hood, you know, is like just like bottom of a good. So like, if you like, end up 
I'm, I'm honestly probably not gonna edit the pictures in due to the fact you know like i wish we could have put them in i wish i knew shut up bro always say that <laughs> shit nigga oh wait whatever <laughs> but suzuki um he minked them honestly he he went crazy he, he fucked those quote unquote hitman up bro he he, he destroyed them yeah like, like no it was it was no diff at up. all no diff like it was actually fucking horrendous how bad he did them bro it, it was a good uh comparison Attempt. of hood and cord because her hood yeah was the one going after akira in the arc previous mm -hmm. and got his ass beat no diff but and a toy then we gun. see this guy no diffing both hood and cord yeah so we're like okay this guy could be you know a challenge for akira mm -hmm. and it ends up not being that way yeah but, but i mean i really like yeah. suzuki I really like Suzuki too. I mean, obviously, you know, he helps. He he was on like Hanako's side the whole time. He was like, he, he wanted to help her, you know. Yeah, I think I like that about him. Like, we're yeah. not sure like what his motive is. Yeah. But we get to learn that he's not. Even though he works under Utsubo, he's not working for Utsubo. Yeah. He's working so he could, <clears throat> uh, you know, get money, of course, because yeah. he's the underworld. He need money. But also like protecting Hinako because she's disabled. She's a, a little girl. I'm pretty sure she's like maybe 20. Yeah. Or something, something uh, small like that. 19. So yeah. he's just looking out for her. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I thought I probably feel like I'd put him either uh, probably next to Hinako in character and impact. I'd say like I don't know. I'm I'm thinking about above just a little bit. Because he he was around a little bit more than Hinako was, I'd say below Azumi. Yeah, because like, I feel like I, like him and Azumi are kind of similar. Because like we didn't know if he was like gonna be like an op or not, you know, until like and, you know, uh, hey, not. Yeah, and I really like the forest towards the yeah. end of his act, where he has the option to shoot Akira or yeah. help him, because uh, Hinako's in this predicament. Mm -hmm. So. Akira's like, hey, you need to untie Yoko so she can help us. And he's like, okay, whatever. And Utsubo's like, hey, what the hell, man? Are you on my side? <laughs> he's like, no, nah, now that Hinako's in trouble, fuck you. Yeah, I, I, I like that about him because he's like, you know, he, he just there, bro, because like he he just wanted to protect her, you know? And then, you know, he, he rolled her off in her wheelchair, you know? <laughs> After, you know, this fucking nigga Akira survived a fucking mine. Oh, God, <laughs> like he was, tanked the I mine mean, and shit, you know. What's After crazy is that he got scars in the in his back, but that wasn't even from like the mine. That was from the grenade that Utsubo used. Yup. Yeah. Like he, he literally took no damage from the mine. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, yeah, yeah. I, f I fuck with the placement of Suzuki. All right. Takahashi. Honestly, man, he was so, he was done so dirty. I think. Yeah, cause, like he, he literally honestly probably got you know downgraded because kuro was so like favored in all yeah, honesty like takahashi was the main dude who was supposed to spy on the siblings mm -hmm. uh for ebihara to see you know if they're killers yeah or they're cold-blooded or if they're trusted yeah and then kuro got it after he witnessed it on accident like because he yeah. like you know was there because ebihara couldn't get takahashi and then you know I kuro think... started coming you know main main guy second hand after Kojima died, Takahashi fell off because Takahashi was like Kojima's uh, right hand man at the time, because uh, he asking him to do all this shit or whatever for him. Yeah. And after that, he fell off. And then by the time Yamoka got there, he was like, "Hey, I'm still a part of this team. Uh, you know, can you put me on some shit?" And Abihara was like, "No, nope. sure. You could just like be here." <laughs> yeah like, okay thanks like he, he really yeah he really got the like the short end even though like Kuro didn't really need it either he really didn't need to be there either to be honest because like i feel like the, him and takahashi were pretty much the same at the very beginning and then you know Kuro got that one incident like where he saw what like you know akira was about you know so then he was yeah. just like more involved and then takahashi got fucking slammed because like you know he wasn't there so like if he if takahashi saw it he probably would have been more involved. Like I, like, I feel like, you know, it just happened that was Kuro, you know? It, I don't know. I just... 
yeah takahashi got slammed by like the plot also you know he had that weird thing where he beat off the yoko at the beginning it was kind of weird yeah <laughs> i'm gonna say he's like like above average like top average low good i go with there I don't know, it's just like, I'm, I'm just mad that, like, like, I'm not really mad because, like, he really didn't do anything in the first place. Because, like, he really went from, like, you know, being off Yoko, being a weirdo, to, like, basically just not really important to the like, characters at all at that after that. Because, like, even yeah. like, Abby Har was like, okay. He, he really didn't care what the fuck Takahashi was doing, to be honest. <laughs> True. So, yeah, I don't know. And, uh, Easily one of the best characters. <laughs> Dakota! The, yeah, bot, the, bot, the boss box of Such a nice guy. Such a likable character. Very heartwarming. Very mm -hmm. father-like. Yeah. Uh, always trying to see the best in not only Akira, but Misaki. Uh, he didn't really interact with Kainuma much, but that's because he's trash. Yeah. Kainuma's trash. Like, I think he, yeah. he kind of had like a feeling. Was, like He was skeptical a little bit, probably. you know, He kind of felt like he was like a little off. And then he had those moments with Yoko. Uh, it it only gets I mean? better in the second <laughs> season. The like second part. We're going to get there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but uh, easily best character. Best best character or best yeah. top character. I think he's the most normal humanistic 100%, character. 100%. But so, and then, like, I feel like Kawhi would probably be, like, the second due to the fact, you know, he's a normal nigga. Yeah. Just trying to get some pussy. Like, that's all Kawhi really is. And then you're trying to get some pussy. <laughs> like, really. But, like, it's a Coda or aka the boss of Octopass. 100% I'd say peak. Yeah. I don't... I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm... I was going to say, like, I'm I'm edging at, like, hop of me. But I, I'll go there. I'll go. I'll, I'll calm down. <laughs> but next up is the actual boss. Yeah, of boss. the fable. Boss himself. Yeah, the boss of Akira, yes, or the Fable of Organization. The fable. Yeah, the Fable Organization. Even though that's literally not what they're called. Like, they yeah. don't have any name. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, literally, there was, like, another group. Oh, wait, can't mention that. Because that's <laughs> other stuff. My fault, my that's fault. That's another video. Yeah, my fault, my fault. Ooh, I was spoiled. Uh, boss. Uh, uh, I feel like, kind of like, in Hamada's case, where, obviously, he didn't get much but i feel like it's more it's way more actually than hamada I'd, I'd probably you know like like he's obviously above average 100 percent. Um, i think he does get more like in yeah. the beginning we see he interacts with the two main characters yeah. uh mm -hmm. and then we see him again with ebi hara talking to him about hey i know you're doing this shit with akira i thought we had a deal and then they yeah. start talking and they're like you're cool just don't let it happen again yeah which it does. Yeah, and he, he, flex that, he flex that knife of his too, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, and then yeah. we see him again when we're introduced to Yamoka. Dude, that has, I reread that uh, chapter. It was so crazy. Yamoka brought in this guy who's a hitman who he just spent years training. And then uh, the boss is like, okay, bro, how you doing? He's like, I'm good. My name is whatever. He's like, here, let me see your gun. I'm gonna see what you're working with. So the dude gives the boss the gun, and then the boss checks out, see if there's any ammo, and then shoots yep. him in the head and it's dead. Yep. <laughs> and the boss is like, Yamoka, I thought I told you to train him better. Like, what's, what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah. And, oh, isn't that with like, time. isn't that with when like, you know, Yoko was there? That's like, she, she, she saw that or whatever? Or like, she saw nah, uh, Yamoka nah, before. Was, yeah. That was when she was younger. Oh, yeah, my fault, my fault. But yeah, like, I remember, I remember that chapter. That was, uh, that was an interesting chapter because, like, yeah. We got that, you know, he he ruthless like that, you know? He gotta be. And then yeah, and then the final scene that we see him in is when he meets Akira in that minivan after they defeat Yamoka. Yep. And he's like, Hey, by the way, this whole time that I told you to go live a normal life for a year, well, it was it was an experiment. I wanted to see if you could be able to live in this world like yeah. a normal person and adapt to this to his normal situations yeah reconnect with the society yourself. so yeah. now i'm just dis dismant or dismembering the fable so you're gonna be your own person now 
Yeah. And also, like, I like how uh, Kira figured out that his shit was being tapped the entire time. Dude, he literally had a, a virus bug in his arm so that the boss always knew where he was and exactly what he was saying. Nope. Nope. Oh, no, maybe maybe it was the... Yeah, it was the phone he got from him. Yeah. If I remember correctly. Yeah, it was crazy. definitely the phone. Like, he figured that out because he was like... He, 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 like, he literally heard something in the phone, bro. Like, that's how he figured it out. That was wild, bro. <laughs> but, I mean... Okay, how I feel about the boss is that, like, it makes sense why he doesn't have much character development. It makes sense due to the fact that, you know, he sh he's a nigga that, sh like, is never supposed to be seen. He's literally a boss of a, of a fucking, un like, a supposed to be unnamed organization that's a hitman in the modern day. He's supposed to be a nigga that nigga don't know. Right. So, like, it makes sense that there's no character development. That's, the, like, I, I would make sense for me. That's why I feel like obviously he's he's obvious he's in good to great, easily. I just don't know I'd where. Say, I'd say he's above the bird, personally. Okay, yeah, I kind of agree with that dude because like he he's he's very important to, to everything that's going on because like, regardless of like you know the the like basically um the arc, there's always a hitman involved. Like obviously it's not like you know the fable but i mean it's it's always like you know in his world you know yeah and then you know obviously like obviously more hitman and then fucking fucking uh yamoka shows up he has to be he has to get involved there so like it was interesting i liked him and now we got utsubo also when they got out like <laughs> the the non predator predator <laughs> Yeah, like he was a weird character. Yeah, he had this yeah. motive where like his scheme is weird. He would manipulate children at young age who have uh, what's the word? Lots of money. Overprotective. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With over, money. yeah, yeah, yeah. Rich, overprotective parents. Yeah, yeah. That's why. And I kind then of manipulate them into giving them their parents money, mm -hmm. and then just kill that person and act like they're just going on a self vacation. Yep. Crazy it's a scam by yeah, the way yeah like, yeah <laughs> i'm 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 actually crazy because like he literally like it's like usually those like you know like his like scheme scam or whatever take like 10 years like those are like long term like yeah. fucking thing it's like bro how do you fucking how do you keep in business like this <laughs> how but he does it like he does it like every week you know this yeah all, he's always trying to look for someone new and then he targets kainuma which was absolutely perfect because yeah. he's a fucking weirdo and then he dies from it yeah it's just uh, you know yeah like honestly fine that he targeted kainuma bro fine because like yeah. that nigga should have died earlier <laughs> yeah i think but, Utsubo is a good antagonist he has I don't like good him, motives you said what i don't really like him a little bit do the uh, fact yeah. that, you know, he, I think he, his likability yeah. is weird because yeah. he does have good mo or not mo good motives. He has yeah. has motives. Yeah. But he also uh pretty much rapes Hinako. Yeah. Uh he manipulates children at young ages until yeah. they grow. Uh he He just weird. And he's like, like he's know. all over the place. He's not, you know, just one set of weird he's just like oh yeah let's be weird in this sense and then be weird over here you know and then say some like you know very you know good quote and then let's be weird again because like he does have some good quotes i would say yeah yeah it's just like it's just like annoying you're weird bro <laughs> you're weird <laughs> i would say kojima is a better antagonist so i'd put him below just like right below yeah. Or maybe, uh, yeah, I'd say right there because I feel like he's better than Jira at least. Yeah, I, I'd agree with that. Just do the fact that like he he's just all over the place for me for Utsubo because like and there's also the fact that like he's like a uh, like a former a former ex target of uh, like fucking Akira too. That's like yeah. that, like it pops up randomly. I'm like okay, it's like that was like that was, like, the, like his main motivation towards the end after he got yeah, Kainuma. He was like okay, we gotta figure out who the table is and get him to you know die. Yeah, it's just like like I just feel like you know that like that just like came in kind of like in the middle to like end this you know 
Because, like, right at the end, it was like, you know, we're like the whole lot, you know, fucking grenade throwing, mine fucking tanking, all that shit, you know, went down. It was like, you know, after he revealed his plan, he's like, I was after you the whole time, Fable, Akira. Like, I was over you the whole time. Like, okay. <laughs> it was like, it was kind of like, I feel like he was like, his stuff was like kind of rushed. And, you know, like, it, I mean, obviously, it kind of makes sense. Like, now I think about it, yeah, it makes sense. Because, like, his shit was kind of like, like, uh, like, shit was hitting the fan with his plan. That's why he was, like, probably rushing it now. If I remember correctly. He he just, like, shit just started going down. So he had to, like, push the fa yeah. uh, plan along, yeah. And then Suzuki fucking, you know, didn't help him anymore. And then, yeah, it, it, rough. And then, like, yeah, like, after Isaki died, his whole plan kind of went to shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But, yeah, next up, it's probably, you know, I, I'd say it's, like, a very good antagonist, Yamoka. Yamoka, he is definitely a villain to be a villain. Yeah. Like he's not like one of I those. I mean, yeah. I mean, he did. He has such yeah. a powerful motive, or he has such a amazing backstory. Like, nah, he's a villain to be a villain. Yeah. And he does it well. Yeah. Like, I mean, he he's a guy who he uh, he doesn't he doesn't feel fear at all he does then that is his motive he wants to feel something yeah he's like yeah sex don't even do it he, like he, oh, he God, like he he's that. like he's like i want to see if i he like he says like i like seeing people die like that's his thing he like he likes seeing that because like that's what gets him off pretty much he's a weirdo yeah. he likes he likes you know watching people like life's drain away and shit but like, i like that human side of him he does what makes him uh Happy. find pleasure in this yeah. world even though it's obscure fucked up, or yeah. it's hard it's fucked up yeah yeah like, like yeah yeah like because like like that's like every like human's goal like find something that like you know makes them happy makes them ple like that gives a pleasure you know every human's goal like he is a very human villain to be a villain nigga like he really is and i i like uh the way he plans things out he's a he's a big strategist mm -hmm. uh, like strategist more like he, he he plans a like a like it's like a movie to him it, it literally is just a movie to him yeah <laughs> yeah he, he's a say that like, yeah he literally made the cast of like yeah. this whole arc mm -hmm. like okay this is the damsel in distress uh sh he's he's the president right he's like the, yeah and, and then he had akira is like your back yeah he, he has akira is like you know this nigga that he literally doesn't know because he never had him yeah. on key never got a picture mm -hmm. of him <laughs> and he's like who's the main character of this story am i or am i the villain like he was literally doing it like this like as uh, events unfolded he was just like yes i like a costume like he he really liked like he he just enjoyed how everything was unfolding even though he was also you know like damn this is not how I wanted things to go you know like he, like even like you know this yeah, was you fucking around plans. yeah he was That's really not how the movie goes <laughs> yeah he was really like like fucking like it was like when Ozzy yeah when Ozzy switched up like he was like that's how it was supposed to go out of me like he was all like that and shit I'm like damn I really I, I, like I I really fuck with like what he was doing it, like even though like yeah. It kind of, like, shit kind of, like, fell off for him after, like, Ozmi switched up. Though he did give them a fucking fight. Like, mm, regardless, yes. bro. And then you, like, Akira kind of, like, away. yeah. Yeah. And then he killed Sonagawa. And, uh, yeah, Sonagawa. And then he came back and he got a haircut. He literally got a haircut in front <laughs> of him. And said, like, hey, fight. <laughs> like, this motherfucker, like, he, he honestly caused the most havoc in, like, that like like week or whatever span then like literally all these other villains dog yeah like he he's killed so many people yeah he uh tortured so many people he did so many things to not only uh his own but like enemies or randoms mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh there was something else i wanted to say uh, yeah, the way I mean... he went out was great i think was great yeah he, he, uh akira had him on his knees after shooting his legs yeah ready to take him out you know ready to take him out and yamoka is like this is how it was meant to be this is how the movies played out this is how it ends uh just end me already and then so i can boom! feel something you know and akira can't do it because he can't yeah. kill not not only because he was told not to kill mm -hmm. but because now he's 
this person who doesn't want to kill. He doesn't yep. like to kill because yeah. he's lived all this this whole year not killing and learning mm -hmm. to be a normal person. Yep. He really needed so, a nigga to bing him like that for to test him, you know? Right. So Kuro had to throw the a gun a, or was it Takahashi? Whatever. Someone had to throw a spare gun to Ebihara who was there and had to end it off. Yeah, bro. Because, like, he had to die regardless. Yamoka had to die. Because, <laughs> right. like, he would have just done it again or done something else even crazier regardless. Like, he has to die no matter who kills him. Someone has to kill him. Like, yeah. that's how he, that's how he ends. He, he gets murdered. He gets killed. I, I, regardless of, like, how, like, he has to die for the shit to end anyways. And I fuck with it. Like, his whole, like, you know, thing with, like, Matsu was crazy, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, he had this nigga, like, literally... Wrapped around the yeah. pinky. Like, he literally had his fucking, you know, he doxed his ass, got his whole fucking, you know, identity and shit. Like, identity fraud, you know? <laughs> And I, I one more thing that. to say. Yep. I like his relationship with Yukari and Azumi. Mm -hmm. Before it was like, hey, I trust you guys. And then it was like, we, they don't trust him because he's a not a very good guy. And they don't like how he does shit. But it's like their dad. So then after they don't like him for a bit, they go to his side one more time. And then eventually when he's dead and gone, they're like, yeah... It, it's right that he died and I, we're we're happy for that but he still was like a father to us mm -hmm. so, so let's just you know live our lives now yeah i agree i, I feel think... like Yamoka is definitely towards the top of great yeah like it's either like he's in great or peak 100 percent it's just like, obviously he's not a good person, so like his like ability is a little a little down, but also like it's not that it's not like low as like you know, it's not like weird like Utsubo or Ka uh, Kojima, you know. What like, was the thing he kept repeating that got on your nerves? For oh, a bit? I'm trying to remember because like I, I he did say something that pissed me off like, so many times, constantly. bro. Oh, it was like, like, don't, don't like, don't speak to me like that. I feel like, make me feel like a king or something like that. Oh, oh, I don't, don't oh, remember yeah. the exact quote, but it was yeah. something like that. I was like, yo, shut no, the fuck it was, up. It was, shut the it fuck was, up. It changed with the situation, but it was pretty much like, you're going to, don't do that. You're going to make me feel like a king. I'm like, yo, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like it, just, it was just like getting so annoying because he literally, that's his fucking catchphrase. Shut up. I don't know. I just like, it just, I like, got annoying at some point, but it's like. I guess that's like what he was trying to do. Piss me off. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I agree. I agree with his placement. So. We're down to the last three. Yes. And the next one up is the main female of the series. Yoko. So I, I want to talk about her because I think she's. Uh, I would say she's up for up to be the most controversial. Yeah. Uh, I there agree. are moments where people may not like it, but personally, I loved it. Yeah. For example, Yoko, toward towards the beginning, uh, was very useful. She did a lot. Yep. Uh, in the second act with the Utsubo, she did less, but she still had some contributions. Yeah. And by the third act, she's like, I'm not sure if I can do anything i'll try but i yeah this is out of my league at this point and i need you guys to help to do it all mostly to akira she said that which brings up the controversial part like oh wow you're making a woman uh be useless again like whatever but i think that's great she acknowledges where she stands and what she can and can't do and it like helps her character because she she's not just like a one dimensional a she's badass she's always going to be badass or she's useless she's always useless like no she has her moments and then she falls here and there because she can't control the situations she's in yeah i got you yeah because so like I think you want to uh like i i definitely you know understand with like some of the people that will be like yeah they might not like her like that you know because like you know there is some moments where she like literally doesn't do a fucking thing she's like we got like three or like like one to three chapters with her just chilling and drinking 
No, it was the titles were the exact same almost. It was like I'm doing this because I'm bored. Yeah, it was just like, her that doing was a shit, bro. Annoying at the beginning. Yeah, but like that's just who she is. Mm-hmm. You know, she may have that one dimension uh, part of her, but it's yeah. not only her. You know, she drinks to cope. Yeah, like Akira watches Jackal. Yeah, like I'm not saying like you know it's bad. It's just like I know why people would you know not like it, not like right. her. Like, say that she's not, like, a good character because she doesn't do anything. Like, but, like, that's the thing. She does do something. She does enough. Like, she knows she knows when she's, uh like, when she's of use to the situation. Like, especially against Yumoka. That nigga literally had her on the ropes. She, she couldn't really do against much against him. Like, she she knew that. She, like, knew she couldn't beat him in a fight because he proved that to her. He literally, he literally, you know, engaged her in her house. And he could, she couldn't do anything. And she was ready. He was yeah. not ready. He literally, he, li- she literally jumped, like jumped his ass, and he still beat her. And he was just there to talk to her. Mm-hmm. Like that's like, and that's also because like she also knew him from like the past. Like yeah, like, which like he was, goes yeah. into her background where we find out Yamoka is this guy who uh, killed her parents, which is why she is in this business mm-hmm. and why she is who she is now. Yeah, this nigga Yomoko's integral to like pretty much everybody. Right now in the story. Or it was, I should say. But yeah, I, I agree. Like she 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 knows what she needs to do, regardless of, you know, this like basically depending on the situation. She knows like what, what she needs to do. So like it's not like the fans of like uh she's useless. Like the stance of she's useless. She just knows when she can't do anything. So I mean I, I'll understand what people say she's useless. She's not entirely you know he's an interesting character i I'd think say. she's very funny too yeah i mean especially the barman funny barman. moments with the bars yep. which we'll get into with the next character yep she has great moments uh interacting with characters when she's mm-hmm. drunk like uh takoda yeah or and she also has uh funny moments with akira because mm-hmm. akira's trying to act normal and she's way more normal than him and she he's, she's trying to give him advice and he's like i don't know what you're talking about yeah and there was that one you know scene with misaki when she was drunk and they and then fucking you know akira drew that shit when she like oh, you know yeah. fell like it fell <laughs> in the bathtub naked. yeah she fell in the fucking bathroom they had to drag her ass out <laughs> that was funny like i i i don't like disagree that you know yoko's a good character 100 no, percent. like she she's a good character and you know all aspects she knows what she needs to do she's also yeah like you said super funny and obviously you know she interacts with good like the characters very well regardless of you know knowing them much you know i, I like i like it i like her where would you put her definitely either greater peak i'd say probably like near near like highish peak like high high great peak I think she's. Uh, I want to say she's either above or below Takada. I want to okay. say above. I'm gonna say above Takada. Okay. Okay. I agree with that because, like, I, 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 at least you know, I, I, yeah, I'd say so, yeah. Because, like, I know, like, that she's at least you know more relevant than Takada was, even though you know Takada's just a goat. He's just a goat. Just in, in general, like, like by all means, like he really doesn't do much, but he's the yeah. goat. He's literally the goat because of it. That's why. And then Yoko knows why. Like, it, like agrees, agrees with me. In the in the second part. <laughs> Next up is the boy, Kawhi. Yuki Kawhi, bro. Yeah, I'd say like Tokida, probably like the most normal nigga here. You know most regular mm. human being here like he he's just out in the bar out of the town bro trying to get some trying to get laid though he's choosing a very bad you know uh lady to uh fucking go after <laughs> because he this can't out yeah. bar man and yoko come and play yup he is in the bar when he first introduced and he's like hey that girl over there's hot watch me go talk to her and he's talking yeah. to his friends mm-hmm. They're like say less so he Yo. goes and she's like she puts on this act and mm-hmm. he's like hey i think it worked out 
but <laughs> he's getting played so the, the whole time. Yeah. So the barman's like, all right, let's see where this goes. And then they it's start like having this date. Yep. And it's like, it becomes like a UFC match yep. where it's Yoko <laughs> versus Kawhi. Who goes down first in this drinking battle? Yup. And then it happens again. Kawhi's trying to like uh, avenge himself because mm-hmm. he shat his pants the first time. Oh uh, yeah, but he and, was done you know, so he bad. Can't come back. <laughs> he really can't come back from that, but he's trying. I'd skip town 100%. <laughs> yeah. And then Kawhi does it again. Like he throws up in the bathroom a couple times and then shits his pants and passes out. Yeah. And the barman said, like, yep, Yoko's unstoppable. Unbeatable, bro. Like, yeah, like y- Yuki Kawhi, bro. Like he was just gotten, got done fucking dirty, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> But that's uh, that's why I like it, bro. He's like he's like fuck. He, he he got the persistence, but it's like, bro. I think it's time you wrap it up, bro. I think it's time you wrap it up. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I think. Yeah. Oh shit. Where I would put him is probably where we should also put Barman, just cause. Yeah. I think Kawhi should be a uh below Jackal. Yeah. But Barman should be above jackal yeah i agree maybe above Kawhi. i don't know wait who Kawhi. oh like right you're thinking like right here yeah like one of those okay i I, I, really, I, don't, yeah. I don't think barman deserves great because jackal is in good and he's like kind of like the same thing yeah and then yuki Kawhi is you know like same thing really because like barman and Kawhi and then dakota are like really literally the most normal niggas honestly barman's a little you know he, he he got he got like you know fucking gears turning fucking like with people bro like he out here just re- like re- referring a fucking match here bro like I don't know what he doing he just chilling <laughs> but right. yeah Kawhi and Dakota yeah I agree with I agree with so far because like uh, they at least have to be you know beside each other because like I feel like they're like like at least similar in like how much you know like I like uh, I like them you know yeah. I have I probably have uh, Yuki Kawhi a little higher because you know I voice him he was funny, you know. Yeah. I got bias and I also got bias against this nigga too. Yukari, let's go. I like Yukari. Um, I think Yukari is uh, <laughs> he has funny moments. He definitely yeah. has those funny moments. I feel like he he's less than a his zombie though. Great moments where he's like we're not sure. If he's with us or against us, yeah. And if he's able to take out Akira or not, yeah. It's like, yeah, we got that whole scene where he was like, like he was like fucking with like you know those like fucking Russian boxer looking guys, right? Or whatever, because like that Yamoka brought in, you know, to have them to have them f- spar oh, yeah. with the Yukari, uh-huh. yeah. Yep. Like he had that, and then he like he you know he was like him. oh yeah he he got beat up the first time, and then the second time he literally fucking rocked they shit you know ended yeah, him. He's like come on, beat me. I'm going. Please go easy on me. Yeah. And I'm like yeah like I I really like Yukari. It's just like I don't feel like he had like as much as like Azumi and shit. Cause like I don't know I feel like Azumi was more of like the more intimidating nigga you know like he was like he he felt like more of like you know he might be an issue. You know? I think this is where he stands. He's like Yoko to the Akira. Mm-hmm. Right? As Azumi is like the Akira and Yukari is like the Yoko. Yeah. Because Yukari is the driver. Like he, They say that he is the driver and Yoko is the driver as well. Yeah. So Azumi is more focused because he's stronger. But yep. Yukari is still strong. Yeah. Uh, and I love the banter he has with Yoko. Yeah. Like a brother and sister type thing. Mm-hmm. If, oh, yeah. Also, remember, I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, that, like, Yamoka had, like, that rating system, right? With, like, like uh, like the little hitman he had, right? Like, Akira. Oh, yeah. It was, like, a 7 or an 8. For, like, Yo- Yukari, right? And then he had, like, uh, Akira and, like, Azumi, like, high. And, like, him, like, at, like, the like the top. But he got still got beat. I yeah. If I remember correctly, yeah. He's like, I'm, like, a 10. And then y'all Azumi like he's like an eight. Yeah, Akira and then might be an eight or nine. You and like then, a six yeah. or seven. And then Akira is like literally at Sandy beats the fuck out of Yamoka. <laughs> yeah. I mean Yamoka did yo, Yamoka was fucking handling them, bro. Like it was literally Akira and Azumi like handling like fucking Yamoka. And he was he was he got away, bro. That, that was a crazy ass fight. 
feel like you know once Akira got serious, you know things kind of went down no, the drain. For I, I reread that sh those chapters too. Akira, Yukari, and Azumi, and Yamoka were all in the same, and they were going against Akira. Yeah. Obviously, Azumi and Yukari weren't super serious, right? Because mm -hmm. they don't want to kill Akira because they know who he is. Yeah. But you know they still want to work under Yamoka. Mm -hmm. So Yamoka gets too close and Yukari get too close, and he's literally boxing them at the exact same time where Azumi's trying to get line of sight on Akira, and he's being blocked by Yamoka. So then when <laughs> Yamoka gets out the way. Azumi shoots, uh, Akira like dodges, then he uh, starts shooting at Azumi, and while they're both ducking down, he's getting Yukari, knocks his ass out, and, <laughs> yeah. then, and then now it's just between him and Azumi, while Yamoka's like on his knees, just got his uh, legs blown out. Like that, that like that was a you know a crazy ass fight because like it was just all over the place you know because it was just like obviously y Yukari is getting you know watched because he's not he's not up to par against Yukira and Azumi, but it's just like it was like it was so fucking hectic that fight. Man, I, I really like that fight though, but like I feel like obviously Yukari would probably be lower 100 percent than Azumi, but I feel like he could also be a little higher because like I feel like he had more of like you know the moments more moments like you know interesting moments than Azumi. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't know, uh, where would you put him? As a character, yeah. I think he is more impactful than Suzuki. Yeah. But I feel like Suzuki has better motives, mm -hmm. better better agenda than Yukari. So I'm going to say yeah. he's below Suzuki. I'd say like definitely Yukari in the second contract would be higher. Because like, like, obviously it's going crazy. But like, we're not there yet. But you said like right Dude, here. He is so funny in the second. Yeah, contract. yeah, like yo, like we need to get the second contract one doing, bro. Cause like I'm thinking about it while I'm doing this one. You said like right here, or what you think it? Yeah, like right around yeah. there. Yeah, cause like I feel like regardless, Suzuki has to be like slightly above Hinako. And then Yukari is just like you know right there because he can't like be above Suzuki. Yeah, that's I agree with that. Okay, what do you do? You think we should move anybody around? Cause like I don't feel like we should move Hinako down at all. Cause like she does not need to be good yeah. or anything like that. Cause like, I feel like everybody in great is great. Like they deserve to be there. Yeah, I feel like everyone's fine here. Yeah, rock with this. Yeah, I think I like this. Okay. Yeah, I I'm rock with this too. Obviously, we 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 gonna have to do the second contract. Cause like I'm I'm just thinking about it while we're fucking doing this one. I'm like. I gotta make sure I don't foil, bro. I don't gotta make sure I don't spoil, you know. But either way, that was a fun video. Also, Zeno, I know you're uh, working on a like a fable video yourself. Yeah, what? I'm trying to work on a script about a full analysis into the fable, what it's about, how it progresses, the different characters and the themes of it. It's gonna be a long video, but it's, okay. it's gonna be one of my works of art that i put my heart and soul into yup well i guess you can y'all you know, all the other people on my channel go check out zeno all of his amvs are over there if you want to go check those out <laughs> you like you'll be in the description you know i guess you know wait for that video to drop because i know it's probably gonna take a while it'll take a while yeah because i know you're still like writing it up right now you're in the writing process yeah i am like two thousand three thousand words in and mm -hmm. i'm like not even halfway done with part three of seven damn well nice that was a nice video nice nice tier list i i agree i like this i like all the placements you know yeah like some of these are probably arguable because like why the fuck we got like bear on here but it's like it's a bear you know why we got oh, like because like yeah because like we don't really need bird but it's like at least he did something the bird the bird did something he's but, the yeah. biggest Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Anyways. Thanks for watching.